What's up guys, I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the iPhone 3.0 software. But before I start, uh, you cannot get this firmware yet, the 3.0 firmware. I know a lot of downloads have been popping up, but do not download them. Because if you install them on your phone or upgrade or restore to it, you are not going to be able to unlock your phone. You have to have a developer account, a paid one, $99, to activate your phone. And I know people are still going to leave comments asking about it. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and look at the texting app. Um, as you see, the icon changed now, and it's now called messaging. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up. If you guys don't know, it, you can uh, MMS message now. For iPhone uh, first generation users, you're not going to be able to do it on that according to what Apple said. But I'll show you something in just a minute that's kind of confusing. Okay, so now, if you don't know, we got uh, landscape texting. So now you can type a lot easier. Um, and I think that's about all of the texting apps aside from uh, multimedia messaging. You'll be able to send pictures and audio and contacts. Um, but on the iPhone first generation, you're not going to be able to do that. But let me show you this. Um, in the settings app, if you go in here uh, and you go down to messages, it has a uh, on-off switch for MMS messaging. So I don't know about that. We'll have to see. Um, next thing, let's go ahead and look at the mail app. Uh, the mail app has had some pretty nice changes. Uh, when you're in your when you are in your inbox, if you scroll all the way up to the top, like it before when you're just on it, it'll be like this. You had to scroll up, and then you have a search bar, so you can search from categories from from to subject or all. And basically, you can just search through your mail. I'll just type iPhone and search, and from it, yeah. None came up for from, but you can continue to search through the server. So, yeah, I hadn't had any from iPhone. But, yeah, you can go through all the subjects and all that. So that's a very nice feature in the Mail app. And now, as well, the Mail app also comes in landscape now. So you can type out emails, read them easier, bigger text and stuff. So that's a very nice feature. So we got search and landscape and mail. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the next thing, notes. It comes in landscape as well. That's about all the changes with that. So now you can go in uh, landscape with notes. Nothing that amazing. Blah, blah, blah. You can type faster. The next thing is the iPod. Uh, it has also added a search now where you can search through artists, music, um, playlists, stuff like that. So we have the search bar here at the top where you can just tap on it and type in to search whatever you want. I don't have any music on my iPhone currently right now synced to it, so I can't actually show you that. But that's a nice feature. You understand what it does. Searches through your stuff. The Stocks app as well has made some changes. Um, it now comes in landscape mode as well, but uh, who really cares about that? The stocks are terrible right now anyway, so you can see this in landscape. And there's also a few new buttons, but I'm not familiar with the stocks app, so I can't actually show you what really changed in that. The next thing that I really, really liked is the YouTube app. They made a lot of changes to it, um, and this should have been like this at the very beginning when the iPhone first came out. Uh, you can now, on the More tab, you can now log into your account. As you see, I have a little Sign Out button. So you can sign in, sign out of YouTube. Uh, you can see your subscriptions. As you see right here, I got a button for subscriptions. Uh, you can see your subscriptions load up. Mine's taking a little bit. You can see all of them at once, or you can see individual videos from people, from all your subscribers. Uh, you can favorite videos now. You can leave comments, ratings, view other comments. You can flag videos, everything. So let's uh, find a video. So let's just go ahead and tap on a video from my favorite. So I'm going to hit the blue arrow beside it, which brings up related videos where you can add this to a playlist now, and you can also share it. Um, but what we're going to do is hit the next blue arrow beside the video I selected. Now what this is going to do is bring up the description of the video. It's going to bring up the date added, category, tags, a button to rate and comment, and then you can see all the uh, comments that other people have left. And then if you scroll to the bottom, it has a little button to load more comments, but we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and show you leaving a comment. Okay, rate or comment or flag. We hit that button and it brings up a pop-up. Um, we can select rate or comment or flag is inappropriate. I'm going to hit rate or comment. And that will take just a second to load up. And as you see, up here at the top we have where we can rate up to five stars, which I will do. And then you can leave a comment. Type whatever you want. And hit send. So the YouTube app has made some awesome updates. They've added a few new buttons, such as the subscription button, the favorites button. Um, yeah, and you can also still edit the buttons around, like dragging them and stuff like that. <clears throat> so that's a very, very, very nice update to the YouTube app. I love that. I'll actually use it now. The next app is the Voice Memo app from Apple. This is built into the 3.0 firmware now. Um, basically, it does just what you think it does. It records your voice. Just leave a little voice memo. Uh, I am now recording a voice memo, and then I'll hit stop. 
and then I can play them. And what that's going to do is open these up. Uh, I'm now recording a voice memo. Yeah, okay, so you can see all your other recordings, and then you can also select your recording and share it. So you can hit the share button, and then you'll be able to email the voice memos. So that's pretty cool. Email somebody a little email or a voice memo. That'd be pretty nice. And then it also has this little volume meter up here or down there. The contacts app has added a search to the top, which basically I don't have any contacts in there because I hadn't synced up my phone yet since I've upgraded. Uh, but you can search through your contacts, so that's that's pretty nice. Now there's also a search to search through your whole iPhone. This is an amazing feature. Um, before when you had the uh, before in firmware errors, before. Uh, you would scroll only to the right, or if you were on the page over to the right, you would scroll all the way to the home screen. Now, if you look close, they've added this little icon for a search. To get over to that, all you're going to do is scroll over. That simple. All of those apps that I just showed you you can search through, it will search through your whole phone all at once. So this is a great feature. I'll give an example by searching iPhone, because <clears throat> I know some of that's going to come up. As you see, it gives me the icon for mail, which I could tap on open up mail. Um, and then here you see all my emails about uh, the iPhone. I don't really have anything else to search for about iPhone. But yeah, that is a great feature. Uh, this was already available kind of for jailbroken phones, except it wasn't nowhere near as nice as this. This is really, really nice. I love this. So you guys will probably like this too. Now to exit out of this, you can either hit the home button just as you are on another page, or you can just scroll back over to the right. Now that feature that everybody has been waiting for, I'm going to show you. Let's open up Safari, and uh, let's go to YouTube. Okay, YouTube's already loading. So we're going to YouTube. Uh, as you see, we're on the YouTube uh, mobile version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to tap and hold. As you see, it highlights all that. And now we have one, two, three, four pins around this and it has a button hit copy what you can do drag these pins around select whatever you want and you can copy hit the copy button and it copies it so that's one way of copying and pasting so, like if you hold down it'll select the whole paragraph or whatever just depending on what you're what app you're in or what page you're looking at is how it's going to copy now let's say we wanted to do it in the mail app this is how it's going to go um, let me click on a mail where I was searching them All right, there we go click on a mail Okay, somebody's following me on Twitter. If you'd like to, there's a link in the description. But what you're going to do, tap to bring up the magnifying glass, and then let go. And then what it's going to do, you can select or select all. If you select all, it'll select everything on the page. But if you hit select, it will just select the word you tapped on, and then you drag the pins to select what you want. And then you can hit copy. Now let's copy something a little bit smaller so I can show you pasting. Uh, so we'll just copy just a little bit of text and hit copy. Okay, now let's go to write new. Uh, we're going to reply to this email. And then what we're going to do to paste, you can hold down, let the magnifying glass come up, and then it gives you the menu. Select, select all, or paste. We're going to hit paste. And as you see, the text I just copied, paste it in there. This is way better than all the uh, jailbroken apps that have copy and paste. It's a lot better than all those. It is amazing. You guys are going to be really excited to try this out. So that is the basic rundown of the iPhone 3.0 beta firmware uh, as of right now. Now note that there is some stuff that I can't show you yet because it's not implemented yet, but it is coming in the 3.0 firmware, so we still have a lot to look forward to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to rate 5 stars, favorite, takes 2 clicks, and I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've got lots of videos on the iPhone iPod. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.